Hi everyone. In this lecture, we will talk about circular convolution using matrix method. Okay. So find the circular convolution of x1 of n and x2 of n. So two sequences are given, right? Using the matrices method. Okay. So let's say x3 of n is what a circular convolution of x1 of n and x2 of n. and it is represented like this okay this is what a symbol for circular convolution okay so let x3 of n be the circular convolution of x1 of n and x2 of n clear so how to perform a circular convolution using matrix method so you have to follow this approach So first of all what you have to do first of all create an n into n matrix with one sequence and arrange the other as an n into 1 column vector so first of all this is x1 x1 of n right so this is at this is what basically so this is x1 of 0 this is what x1 of 1 right this is what x1 of 2 and this is what x1 of 3 similarly for x2 of n see here this is what basically x2 of 0 this is what x2 of 1 this is what x2 of 2 and this is x2 of 3 clear So to find the circular convolution using matrix method form an n into n matrix using the element x2 of n so n into n but here value of n is what 4 right so you have to form 4 into 4 matrix 4 into 4 matrix right using using what pos using x2 of n and arrange the sequence x1 of n as a column vector of order n into 1 it means 4 into 1 so this two things you have to remember the value of n here is what 4 right we already discussed this in last two lectures also so let's go for the implementation so let's focus on this we have to draw 4 into 4 Four cross four matrix using the element of x two of n. So how to draw? First, you should know using a simple expression. So if I go with simple expressions, so first column you have to write like this. So x two of zero, x two of one, okay, x two of two, okay, and x two of 3 clear then it will come here so x2 of 0 x2 of 1 x2 of 2 and here it will be x2 of 3 clear now next column so x2 of 0 x2 of 1 okay here it will be x2 of 2 and here it will be x2 of 3 and the last column you have to, you have to draw 4 cross 4 right so the last so now here it will be x2 of 0 okay and here it will be x2 of 1 x2 of 2 and x2 of 3 hope it is clear to you fine so four cross four matrix using the elements of x2 of n you have to draw like this okay now next is what four cross one column vector so here using what x1 of n so simply write it will be x1 of 0 x1 of 
x1 of 2 and x1 of 3 clear then you will get result after solving this and the result will be x3 of 0 x3 of 1 okay x3 of 2 and x3 of 3 this will be the result okay and then what you have to do the product of this two matrices results in the sequence x3 of n that is what that is how you have to do now so basically you know the values of this right you know the values of this from here now just replace the value so when you replace the val value what will happen see it will be like this correct now you have to solve this so when you solve this i hope you are aware about solving this you know product of the matrices how to do so this completely you have to multiply with this and add on so for example so the first first one i want to calculate so it will be 4 so 4 into 1 okay plus now 1 into 2 so 1 into 2 plus this 2 into 1 so 2 into 1 plus 3 into 2 3 into 2 so overall when you solve this it will become what so it will give you 4 plus 2 6 plus 2 8 8 plus 6 14 so you will get here what 14 clear fine let's go next so 3 into 1 3 into 1 plus 4 into 2 so 4 into 2 plus 1 into 1 1 into 1 plus 2 into 2 2 into 2 clear so when you solve this what will come 16 16 will come okay next so 2 into 1 so 2 into 1 plus 3 into 2 3 into 2 plus 4 into 1 plus 1 into 2 so 1 into 2 okay last one 1 into 1 1 into 1 plus 2 into 2 okay plus 3 into 1 plus 4 into 2 4 into 2 okay now solve this so it will give you what 2 plus 6 plus 4 plus 2 so it will give you 14 right and the last is 8 plus 3 plus 4 plus 1 so 16 so you got what 14 16 14 16 so now x3 of n which is nothing but a circular convolution of x1 of n and x2 of n will become what 14 comma 16 comma 14 comma 16 this is the resultant sequence x3 of n so this is how you have to do a circular convolution using matrix method i hope it is clear to you if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching